afternoon guys uh, I'm back on with the Terios just done uh, put some curtains in the front which was a bit fiddly um, not perfect but it was certainly good good enough good enough they're all right and I've cut um, cut down some caravan cushions to uh, to fit um, I'll explain how I did that in a moment I'll just spin you around So, as you can see, caravan cushions. And there were some old ones I took out because we'd up upgraded. But, um, new in. And then you can see the curtains at the side. If you look up there, you can see uh, the um, rail going around the top. Now, this, it's made the sun visors useless so i've got them tilted forwards as they do provide some um some protection so this is how the seating arrangement will be to sleep in this is long enough for just about six foot um yeah which is which will do because i'm only five foot nine so um i just got to put these uh side pockets on so they'll just be little drop down things and then all these cushions well there's no backings on them that's why we took them out the, the cotton has gone for a, a burn so you've got enough room to sit there and that cushion which I'll pull out now will act as a backrest so like I said the cushions were all but scrap so it's just an experiment. So as you can see, I've you see by the overlap how much I've cut off the foam. And I'll explain in a second how I did that. So that will just sit there as a as a backrest. Um might even drop it down the back, I don't know whether that'll be better. Depends how much I can not tried it yet so I don't know how much leg room you need no I think it's better on top but that's the story so far so the curtains were out of our other camper which um, were around the front windscreens a big Mercedes um, 814 coach that's we converted but um, <clears throat> I I did away with the curtains around the screen because I built a bulkhead instead and where the cab is actually separate now with a, a door so we don't need curtains in the front so I knit the curtains, knit the curtain rail, it's only household curtain rail, fitted it in with butterfly uh, attachments which is like what you'd use on plasterboard so they sort of spring out on the back of it, it seems to work alright, yeah it's holding it up, does the job, curtains fit okay. Yeah, because we're going, going, we're going out overnight. We're having a, a romantic evening. Well, it might even be two evenings. I'm not sure. Two, I think. So I'll have to take some, take some cans with me because yeah, that could get expensive, couldn't it? But yeah. So that's. Sorry about the sunlight. It's just um, sunny. And when it's sunny, you've got to do what you got to do. So yeah. And flap still lifts up and under there is tools and junk and stuff and that that toolbox will probably come out because that, that just holds the floor up a little bit too much which is a bit of a shame because it would have been nice to have kept that in but yeah so that's the story story so far it'll do for this uh, this coming week and then um, <clears throat> i'll develop it afterwards i'll have a table hinge on the back door and have a little uh, hook on table inside so you can have a little camping stove inside just for so, just so as we can eat and but I don't think we'll be doing that when we go off this time so over and out